Hi, I'm Lokesh. Welcome to AV Learning Center, TechLock. Hi, my name is Lokesh. This is a new product from Moncure, HTS 5100, 7.1 channel home theater in a box. It has one AV receiver, seven speakers, left, right, center, surround, four numbers, and a subwoofer. This system also comes with a iPod dock which can be used to connect iPod to this system. It's very easy to install this system. Let's learn to install the system. 5100 is supplied with uh, color coded speaker cables, subwoofer cable and an iPod dock. Let us first install the system using uh, supplied accessories. Let's start with the easiest part connecting an FM antenna and the iPod dock. iPod dock get plugged here. That's it, the iPod dock is connected. FM antenna, just yes. push it in. Now let's take the red wire, connect to red pin, the red wire goes to red, the black goes to black. Okay, the red wire now has to go to red uh, pin in the amplifier. Unscrew the speaker binding post. Insert the copper inside. Make sure you connect uh, black wire to the black pin. And red wire to the red uh, pin. Now, connection for the right speaker is done. Similarly, we have to repeat for all the speakers. Now all the speaker wires are connected and uh, by matching the colors of the wire and pins. Now we have finished connecting the accessories which has come with the system. Now let us connect the DVD player. This receiver has a HDMI pass through. If your DVD player supports HDMI, you can pass through this receiver and the HDMI will go to the television. This receiver will not accept any audio through HDMI. So you need to connect optical or coaxial digital cable for audio. If it is uh, optical for audio, we will go here and the DVD player optical out or if you don't have optical connection in your DVD player, you can use a coaxial cable, coaxial to coaxial. Now let's do the video connection. If you now connect another HDMI cable between the receiver and the television. Connect to monitor out. Monitor out to the TV input. TV HDMI input. If you are uh, still using non-HDMI components like VCR or uh, satellite TV, you need to connect composite and component video also. And you will have to take a respective monitor out from the receiver to the TV to, uh, to get the video of those sources. Now we have finished connecting speakers and DVD player and the iPod dock. Now uh, let us set it up. This system is already preset 
for the supplied speakers to give you the best sound for your room. This system has a built-in Odyssey 2 EQ function and it's got a sub, we have, uh, Onkyo has supplied a mic to calibrate as per your room. What you need to do, switch on the system, plug in the mic, put the mic in your listening area, not in front of the amplifier, where you sit and watch the movie near your sofa at the ear level and we'll ask you push enter it generates a test tone and takes the input this system will auto calibrate to your room on your based on your sitting position Select tuner, press up button, tuning button. When it gets to the station, it stops. Then press memory and press memory again, it gets stored in the respective channel. Just plug in your iPod to the iPod dock. To fit your iPod properly to the dock, adjust this lever, this unscrew, so make this comfortable for your iPod. To play iPod, select dock on the remote, dock button on the remote, press play. Using this remote, you can browse through complete collection of your music in the iPod and This dock not only helps you listen music from the iPod, you can also wake up to iPod music by setting alarm in iPod. Set the alarm in iPod and select the favorite track and when that alarm gets activated, the system automatically switches on and plays the music to the preset level. If you need more information, please mail to my email ID.